looking at section 2.3, number 26 from OpenStax Calc Volume 1. All right, what's going on is that they're giving us a, an inequality where g of x is sandwiched between two functions. And we're trying to find the limit as g of x approaches two. So if I use the squeeze theorem, which is also known as the sandwich theorem, um, the approach that I will take is to take the limit of the two functions that are on the outside of that inequality. And I can easily do that because those are polynomials. So I can just directly substitute x, uh, x equals two, x is approaching two. I can just directly substitute in two because they're polynomials. And um, so here we go. So that's four minus four plus three is three. So they both have, I'm sorry, wrote zero. They both have the same um, limit of three. The two outside ones have the same limit, which is three. And so we see that limit two X minus one, is equal to the limit of x squared minus 2x plus three as x approaches two, which equals three. And we already have this inequality, which is given. And uh, we, we just showed that the two outside functions have the same limit. So therefore, the limit of g of x as x approaches two is equal to three by the squeeze theorem, AKA the sandwich theorem. I'm confused because did, uh, didn't we conclude that the limit was for g of x was zero? Oh, okay. Then, uh, well, I'm not done yet then. Sorry. They didn't say that. They said true or false. So the final answer, yeah, I don't think I would have come back and read it, which is not so good. But, uh, so the final answer, false. So it would be true if it was... Um... If, G, if limit of g of x as x approaches two was three, right? Right, yeah. So okay. I think point that out. I, I, um, I mean, you know, it's always super important to read the problems. I'm not used to these problems actually, uh, new book and everything, but uh, it, is, it is false because we, we see that the limit is equal to three. Um, all right. Does, but does notice OpenStax have um, the solutions for some of the problems in the back of yeah. the book? Well, the odds. One... Okay, the cool. Odds. Let me point out what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to, and you see a bunch of videos on YouTube doing this, you're not supposed to just put limit and keep the same inequality. No. And the reason is, is that um, I don't think it's that subtle of a point, but the, the, the point is that we do not know that the limit of g of x as x approaches uh, two exists. I mean, if you know it exists, you don't have to use the squeeze term. You could just throw in front of these guys, limit, limit, limit. And then you have three less than or equal le limit of g of x less than or equal three. You could do that, but you're not allowed to do that if you don't know the limit of g of x exists, which is not, is not shown, is not stated here. So you're not supposed to do that. And, and doing that would not be the squeeze theorem. I'm telling you, use the squeeze theorem. The squeeze theorem says, take the limits of the first two X minus one, the last X squared minus two X plus three, show that limit's the same. And combined with the inequality, you can then conclude that the limit of the inside function is three. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube that are just, they, I don't, they don't understand the squeeze theorem. I don't know what to say about that, but anyway, except I hope they can fix it. Anyway, um, so why don't we end this video and we can talk more about that, okay? So.